Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new one punch fan video. Now a lot of you have been asking me to return back to this because obviously I did a couple of videos on Sor Sorcerer's Arena and I wanted to show you where my progress was. And I'd actually been saving up to uh, to do a big upgrade loan. I don't have any of these characters I can loan to a friend. I'm not too sure what any of this means, but um, just wait for that maybe? No idea. Right, anyway, so let's jump into the objectives. And what I wanted to do today was focus on upgrading one of my main characters, guys. Nice. Oh, I've got some more of these completed. 180. And a few more of those completed as well. Open boss chest. Obtain road to strong XP. So. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I, I don't fuss too much about this, guys. Because there's a very nice free portion from these. So I can't complain too much. Because there are some really nice free stuff that you get from these. So, but it is a lot of money for what you get. So, it is quite questionable, really. Um, let's see what we got. Lovely. This is, this is a preview version of an update. Added the new recharge event. Optimize. Adjust the condition for claiming the fund reward. Adjust the rewards for the daily, weekly, effective in the next refresh. Adjust other optimus for your AP. The first charge gift pack change from this added and equipped speeder sonic. I'm so happy I got that when I did. Just towards the start gift pack. Oh, so anybody who's brought all of the starter packs or any of those gift packs will receive free rewards when the game actually comes out. That's quite cool. I like that. There's another nice little update to look forward to. I get three more characters. Yes, one more physics character. Because at the moment, all I need are the physics, the physics characters. Yes, look at that. That is a long line. Lovely. More people promoted. So, what I wanted to focus on in this video, guys, was promoting um, Mosquito Girl to gold. This will be my first gold character. I obviously wanted to wait and do this on camera to see what it would be like. Um, so, obviously, because I'm trying to form a whole team of physics, it is quite a pain to level up characters because you need two physics each time, and I can't ever use any of the physics I like to use. So I need to make sure I get two physics to your rubbish, because he's rubbish, he's rubbish. So now I'm going to promote, and I want to see what we can get, and see how the golden kind of works. So there we go, you can see that I'm about to push her up to golden. Then obviously we got to golden again, and then obviously it's red afterwards, which I think is mythic tier red. Or maybe there's something after that, I'm not too sure guys. But here we go. Boom, there we go successfully promoted to epic guys now that is my first epic promotion so i want you guys to comment down below and let me know if you've got anybody promoted up to epic at the moment Let's skip through so now i can obviously do another character but it would drop away two of the guys i like to use so that's not happening at the moment great so now i need three thousand of the um purple bits to level up again but obviously that's going to take a while now so let's continue doing what I was doing while I was just trying to enhance all of our moves. Lovely. Maxed out, there we go. So all of our kit, all of our everything is all maxed out now, which is brilliant. And she's my first gold character. Now I could probably get... Um, I need to actually upgrade them a bit more before I can get them gold. Characters in the battle wall cannot be upgraded. So I I can get someone up to gold in the red, but I haven't really found a character I like enough in the red category to promote up. It's a little bit difficult for me at the moment because I know Tank Top Master is quite good. I don't like him as much as he 
as he used to be because he was brilliant in the first one because of his shielding potential but that's all gone out the window now so yeah i'm not too sure to upgrade i don't know guys you can see at the moment i'm quite happy with what i've got So I think they're going to increase the daily rewards to the level you're on. It's from what I believe on that update. And obviously when the game comes out, we're going to be getting loads of gifts for anybody who bought the starter pack. And I hopefully they're going to give us a bit more. Or even they could give us that character again, guys. Supersonic again. That would be naughty if we got him as well. I'm getting quite a nice amount of three star missions now. So I guess you kind of need to make sure you've got a okay amount of characters. But these missions are also easy. I, I do agree with what Ethan said a while ago that they do need to have some sort of automatic button in here. So we can just press a button and fly through it all. Because at the moment, uh, it, it takes a while. Come on. There we go. Great. So yeah, guys, um, like I was saying here, adjust the condition to claiming funds. Adjust the rewards of the daily, weekly, and monthly gift packs effective in the next refresh after update. So I guess that will probably refresh on Monday, um, which is fine. I guess that's just to make it fair, just in case people didn't claim anything. Road to Strongs was set again. They do need to increase the drops you get in Road to Strong, guys. Anyway, for now, let's take a look and see what Mosquito Girl's like on gold, guys. And I will be getting rid of Vaccine Man for Earthquake Girl. I'd love a times four as well, if, um... If Oasis do ever watch any of my videos, I'd love them to take away that a times four would be beautiful. Vaccine Man is quite good because he does get some vile crits in. I like the new um, UI on this as well, guys. Getting a high amount of rage there, that's top. That's one of the best skills you can actually get. So everybody just has their specials. Because it really, you want to form a team of characters whose special hit everybody. Like that, you want to have a fair amount of backup characters as well. Just for when you are going through here, so... You know, if, if you, at least you've got like 10 good upgraded characters, it, it does get relatively easy to run through these. This is why I like to have Mosquito go on the front, guys, because she can take the brunt of the damage. And the battle begins to recover rage. So you want to get all the ones that allow you to have more rage. To be fair, Vaccine Man is a little bit disgusting. Critical hit damage. That one's mad because every single count on my team's physic. So now I'm going to have 100% more critical hit damage. Let's use her move and if I crit you'll see what I mean. There, 100,000 on the crit. Boom, everyone's gone. Easy. Physic character buff again. So I'm actually being blessed with some decent upgrades today. Sometimes you can go through these and get absolute rubbish. So all physic characters get a 15% boost is pretty good. That's why I don't really like Vaccine Man's special. His combo is pretty vile. So I will be taking a look at um, Earthquake Girl to replace him. B. 
big hit. She's just such a mental character. Paralyzing the last two rows. So that now what I like to do, guys, is this. Look. If I move everybody... Everybody back a row, right? That means everybody's now going to have that 10% buff again. So it's just slowly building up all of your characters. I'll do one more battle for you guys. See, that's why I like him, because him and Mosquito Girl do the lasting damage, which is always really useful. They're all rubbish, so I'm going to keep the critical hit build going. Heal everybody up there. And then, yeah, I'm going to round the video up there, guys. I just kind of wanted to go over getting someone up to uh, Mythic. Oh, sorry, Epic. And then the new patch notes. So I'll see you guys in the next video.